The third Sunday of Advent, Gaudete Sunday. A reading from the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, daughter of Zion. Israel, shout aloud. Rejoice. Exult with all your heart, daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has repealed your sentence. He has driven your enemies away. The Lord, the King of Israel, is in your midst. You have no more evil to fear. When that day comes, word will come to Jerusalem. Zion, have no fear. Do not let your hands grow limp. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult with joy over you. He will renew you by his love. He will dance with joy, with shouts of joy for you, as on a day of festival. The word of the Lord. Sing and shout for joy. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing and shout for joy. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. Sing and shout for joy. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Sing and shout for joy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippines. I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. Let your tolerance be evident to everyone. The Lord is very near. There is no need to worry, but if there is anything you need, pray for it, asking God for it with prayer, prayer and thanksgiving. And that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When all the people asked John, what must we do? He answered, if anyone has two tunics, he must share with the man who has none. And the one with something to eat must do the same. There were tax collectors, too, who came for baptism. And these said to him, Master, what must we do? He said to them, exact no more than your rate. Some soldiers asked him in their turn, what about us? What must we do? He said to them, no intimidation, no extortion, be content with your pay. A feeling of expectancy had grown among the people who were beginning to think that John might be the Christ. So John declared before them all, I baptize you with water, but someone is coming, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to undo the strap of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But the chaff he will burn in a fire that will never go out. As well as this, there were many other things he said to exhort the people and to announce the good news to them. The Gospel of the Lord. With the lighting of the pink candle, the mood of the Advent season changes when we become less focused on the second coming of Christ and more on the joy surrounding his coming birth. Hence, the third Sunday of Advent is known as Gaudete, it being the Latin word for joy. Firstly, now, joy is not the same as pleasure. Of course, we cannot live our lives without a certain amount of comfort and pleasure, but some people have an inordinate attachment to it, 
especially the wrong kind, which doesn't do their body or their soul any favours. There is pleasure in sin, for instance, and excess. We can even get a warped form of pleasure at someone else's expense, her misfortune, his humiliation. Those who seek pleasure usually find it, albeit briefly. What pleasure lacks is, of course, permanence. It's like the soft surface of an unruffled sea. One brisk wind destroys it, but there is calm water below. That's where joy resides. Pleasure is often the artful dodger which often finds its home in illusion and in a fantasy world far removed from reality. But like December sun and December snow, it comes and goes. But joy is different. I would say that there is no true joy that is not the outcome of some struggle, some endurance, some contest. Jesus, before his sacred passion, he prayed that his disciples would share his joy. What joy is that before his passion? The joy of total self-sacrifice, of course. A religion which bypasses the cross and self-sacrifice is not genuine. And there's very little joy in it. Now, Karl Marx, who wrote Das Kapital, as you know, which inspired communism, he saw this as one of the dangers inherent in organized religion, disdainfully describing it as the opium of the people. He could have a point if people falsely see religion as an escape hatch from facing up to life's problems or if God is only there to shield us from the harsh realities of life. Some people see God as a kind of magician who with a wave of his wand will smooth out all the ruffles of our life. He can even send rain from a blue sky. It's actually only in those ruffles of life that many people find the true God. God, of course, will undoubtedly sustain us through the dark times when our faith in him doesn't waver and remains constant throughout. This is when we experience joy. Jesus promised his apostles that if they persevere when burdened with distress of one kind or another, their sorrow will be turned into joy. Now in this vein, we can even sanitize the crib. A homeless couple, a winter's night, a child born in the last place a mother would want. There is nothing here that speaks of pleasure. The circumstances surrounding the birth of Christ are anything but congenial, but joy is the enduring characteristic of the Christmas story. On meeting her cousin, Mary cries out, My soul rejoices in God my Saviour. What is the source of this joy? Of course it's the Holy Spirit. A joy which no person situation or circumstance can take from us without our consent. May we be filled with holy joy this Christmas and beyond. Thank you now for listening and God bless you all.